In order to install VS Code for Java, the first thing we should ensure is that Java is installed in the system and either Java Home or JDK Home is set up. Then we need to download and install VS Code for Java. In order to download, we need to go to Google and just search for download VS Code, press enter. The first link that we can see code.visualstudio.com download. Here if I go, you can see there are three options depending on your OS you can select. I have this Windows one, I am going to select this one. Now the download has started and also it is completed. We can see the VS Code user setup hyphen x64 version. Now at the time of recording this is a version that I am getting by default. It may change later on. Let me double click on this exe. It's showing a message this user installer is not meant to be run as administrator. Anyway I am not running as administrator. If you would like to install a VS Code for all users in this program download the system installer. If I go back to the browser you can see over here. Let me go back. There are certain options, user installer, system installer, zip. So I can download system installer. By default when I have clicked here, user installer is downloaded. So I would proceed with that. We can also use zip version. So that's a different context. Let me go back to the setup. Are you sure you want to continue? Definitely. Click OK. Accept the agreement. Click Next. Here by default VS Code is choosing a particular location. I am going to customize this location. I want to install this particular VS Code at a particular location. I want to install VS Code at a particular location. So I have given my path and after that Microsoft VS Code this name is there. Click next. Next again. Here what I would do I would check this create a desktop icon. I want this icon and there are two options by default selected add to path. I would keep it as it is. I don't want this particular option register code as an editor for supported file types. I'm unchecking it. Click next. Click on install. This may take a while. I would pause the recording and start when the installation is done. Now the installation is done. If I click on finish it would launch Visual Studio Code. I don't want to do that. I would click finish and I would run from the desktop icon. Click on finish. Go to desktop. Let me double click on the Visual Studio Code icon. Visual Studio is opened now. First thing that I want to do here is just to change the theme. I don't like the dark theme. I mean it depends on your preference. So I would go to file, preferences, color theme. This is by default dark. I am making it light. Anyways, so here in VS Code there are different sections. Explorer, search, source control run and debug and this is the part extension. So this is the section where we would come first and here I need to install some extensions for Java. If I type Java over here you can see there are variety of extensions that are appearing. So this is the extension extension pack for Java this we need to set up. Now within this extension pack there are multiple extension packs included actually. If you see here and if you drag this particular sidebar, you have IntelliJ code, language support for Java, debugger for Java, Maven for Java, test runner and many others. So this is kind of a combo pack. We need to install this. So to install you can click on the install button here or you can install over here also. Let me click. Now installation is in progress. The installation is complete. It may take just 20 to 30 seconds at max. Now I am going back to the explorer. Here after we install this particular extension you can see we have the option to create a Java project. Now here from the explorer I can create a Java project or I can do the same thing from command palette. In order to go to command palette what we can do we can do a control shift P. So this is one way we can go to command palette. Another way is you can click on view. The first option is the command palette. So here I can select this option create Java project. If I type Java, so Java related options would come like configure Java runtime, create Java project, etc. Or I can click here also. So let me click this button. Now here for Java project creation, whatever possible options are there, it would appear here without any build tool, right? Core Java project with Maven, with Gradle, Spring Boot, Quarkus, Micro Profile and whatnot. So let me select the first option. Now here what we need to do, we need to provide a location where this Java project would be created. So I have already created a directory. I want to point to that particular directory. So let me do that. So I have pointed to this particular location. 
and click on select the project location. Now the location is selected, VS Code is now asking for the project name. Let me provide the name, press enter. On the left hand side, what you can see, this test project is created. It has a lib folder, it has src folder. Let me expand this. We have a sample class, which VS Code itself has created. And this is an app.java, it has a sysout. Now I want to run this particular program. So if you want to run this particular program, what you can do, from here you can click this run button or you can right click on this here we have this run java option and another thing that we can do right click over here run java but before that i wanted to show you something let me go to the command palette once again here there are various options one thing is configure java runtime so if you see here we have this project name this is the java version and if i click on this edit link it is showing the JDK location. Now, if I have JDK already installed, it is pointing there. So in case I don't want to point to the JDK which is already installed, maybe I have multiple installations or multiple locations, I want to point to that particular JDK. From here, we can edit. So this is one option which is good to know. Now, let me run this particular Java code, right click, run Java. Now it's compiling and the terminal is coming. So it's printing hello world. So in this way, what we have done, we have downloaded VS code. We have set it up. We have created a very simple Java project and we have run the Java file. So this is just one of the initial videos of a series where we are going to create multiple lessons on VS code and Java, which would be quite handy. So in case you are interested to get all these videos and go through this series, I would request you to subscribe to this channel. I would be adding many, many more useful videos going forward.